All right, guys, we're at the house. <clears throat> got the boat rigged up. We've got a really interesting sonar configuration that I'm going to show you all today that I've been using sporadically. You know, it's really, really powerful in a couple situations, and we've got that situation going on right now. So we're just kind of going to go fishing and try to catch every species in the lake today. So going to be some bass mixed in. Who knows what else? So I'm going to show you all this new setup and kind of efficient to find some. So I told y'all about this sonar configuration that I actually have on the boat right now. We're just going to turn around and show y'all what the deal is right quick. All right. So this is obviously the active target. And what I do with it is, it's like right there, there's some fish. Got it right here on this sniper marine. I guess you'd call this a turret. I don't know, it's a sniper pole, what it is. It's got a little arrow right there, so you can see where I'm where I'm going to. So I'm gonna turn my haven't used it here in a while. So I'm actually going to turn my contrast up a little bit. And boom. Now I'm going to idle. look so there's bait there's fish under the bait right there Let's see if we can find something else I know what I'm looking for So you can kind of see what makes that special is you can kind of get through an area without having to stand up and troll around. Now, this area that we're in right now is an area that's had a lot of stripes in it. Not a ton of bass, but a ton of stripes. And I've seen some schools of crappie also, and it's very, very powerful for the crappie because the crappie, they'll just suspend out in the absolute middle of nowhere. And then you just kind of find them drop your trolling motor, get on top of them, and drop down to them. So it makes it where you can find them very, very easily and efficiently. So the thing's pretty powerful. We're going to troll back out here. I think I saw a school of stripes underneath the bait up here. So we're going to look for those again and probably drop on one or two. I don't know how well y'all can see what we're looking for, but that's just a ton of bait right there. A couple of fish around. Definitely not enough bass here. That's a stripe over the top of them right there for show. Stripes right there. Another stripe. See it right there, swimming on top of the bait. Almost to the boat. But we're looking for that magnum school of stripe. That might have been them right there. There's, there's three or four stripe right there on the screen. All right, let's just fish right here for a second. And get me a bait to drop on them. Let's see what we can do up here. Obviously, when you're dealing with spinning poles, it's all the way tangled all the time. But, so I got in an area where I've seen them. I've seen people cast actually from sitting down right there at the uh console but i just like to get up so i can chase them around a little bit all right we got us a bait we can i'm hoping y'all can see that got a little bit of all right 
I'm sure y'all can't see it that well all the way down there. There's three stripes behind me right there. That's probably the same three that I said was on the screen right back there. Didn't hit them too well. Don't know if y'all can see those up there. Thing about stripes, they do not stop moving ever. From the time they're born, they are swimming around. They've seen it that time. Come on with it, man. I'm losing them. They're almost that bait ball over there now. See what these are. A little white bass. Whole whole flock of them just came out of that bait. This is a really good area for these. I don't know why, but for some reason they're just here. I didn't get them to react to it that time. Let's find one of them big schools of stripers. There they are. Can I see those? Let's see if I can hit them. Is my bait going down to them? Them rising up on it? Yep. That's what I was looking for. That's them stripes. Don't come up, it's gonna be a freaking six pound largemouth, biggest one I've ever caught doing this ever. No, sir. No, sir. It's gonna be what you think it's gonna be. What do I got? No GPS position fix. That's okay. I don't need a GPS. I can find my way around a small little local lake. Oh, man. It's got a jumping stripe. It's actually gonna be a little hybrid. Pretty one. Throw him back. Find the megawatt again. There's probably 30 there. 
there they are right behind us y'all see them missed them a little bit hard to hit them when they're behind you like that really hard now they're coming to us a little bit anyways he saw it one saw it with the big wide there they are swimming away from us so they're giving us a pretty poor return but you'll be able to see it's my bait going down there to them them rising up on it yep mm. Mm. yeah I got my drag pretty tight. Every once in a while they'll break me off, but for the most part, I manhandle them a little bit. Just got in that area where I was seeing three or four of them. Another one. I don't know how many you could catch in a day if you tried, but it'd be a bunch. In one season. Missed it. God, missed that one too. Got that one. Another little wolf pack of them. of them right there it's hard because see if you can see this My bait going down to them. Missed them. It's my bait going down to them. See them turning up on it. Mm. I'm, I threw a little bit behind them was a problem there so I got two or three in the back to come up on it but I didn't get the leaders of the pack to come up on it when the leaders of the pack come up on it you get them all to start coming up so that's them right there at 80 75 Try to get down there where y'all can see them right there. It's my bait going down. My bait went through them. Got one already. <laughs> I've lost my traction on the screen. But I'm trying to get it on video. All right, they're right there. I really need to be more prepared and just record my screen. That's what I really need to do. 
All right, that's them. That's my bait falling in front of them right there. It's gonna fall about perfect. They're rising up on it, got one. That one above them right there is the one I've got. So, pretty crazy. There's a bunch of them. This one feels actually pretty good. It might be three three pounder probably. Nope. Just mean. Just mean. So I know these ain't all stripes. That's just what I'm calling them. Lots of different species in here. We do have some true stripes. We got a lot of white bass, a lot of hybrids. Now they're on bottom out there. 90 feet. Just gonna let y'all know 90 feet is a long cast. Coming right through the middle of them. Y'all see how when I threw in front of that front when he came up and then they all came up till one of them had it. my bait right there in front of them got one mm -hmm. I feel like he ate it deep I feel his teeth on my line takes me back to some small mouthing so since I know he's got it deep I'm gonna loosen my drag Ew. Ew. You know you got a stripe whenever they start cutting through the water like that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get him. See, I think he scored my line up. So I'm gonna get him. Still feel his teeth every time he shakes his head. Smallest one yet, probably. Catch one more out of this group if we can find them again. It's gonna be tough to find them though. Cause I took my time with him. This is such a powerful tool for every species except largemouth. And it's a very good tool for largemouth. But for every other species, I'm talking about stripe, white bass, hybrids, spots, smallmouth, crappy, even bluegill when they get grouped up out here, they don't move a lot. It's very, very powerful for all of those things. For largemouth, particularly, it's, you know, it's not that you have to have it for largemouth. Some lakes, they do get out there, and you can really do do well with it for largemouth. But where I live, absolutely do not have to have this technology. Yeah, I lost them. Go find some new. When I'm trying to catch stripe or crappie, 
both those are very very similar in the approach that i use rarely fishing for individual fish so go pretty fast pretty quick and look for look look for the school that's what i do troll motor troll motor on high when you find them you know Let's see what this sucker is if you'll bite Oh man, that's them boys right there. That's them ones we're looking for. So hard to hit them. I'm gonna do anything differently. Like right then, I got on my knees. See my bait going down to them. They see it, they got it. I think them's all bass. I'm wrong. <laughs> them straps. I thought they were. Oh man. When I threw at him, then when he bit, Oh, they're right under us. They followed him to the boat. Right there. 50 feet. There's my bait in front of them. There's my bait going down to them. I missed them by just a little bit. my bait going right to them they see it oh. that's them when they was coming up on it like that so I was told they just stock like 25,000 of these in this lake that's what I was told and I think that would be a terrible mistake we already got way more White bass, stripes, and hybrids, then we have largemouth. So I don't know why they would do that, but I was told they did. This one right here is the biggest one so far. I ain't seen him yet, but I know it is. I feel like I'm smallmouth fishing for real now. I'm just chasing them around till they, till they get a little tired. Oh man, hold up. Hold up there, bud. I'm gonna get stuck in my sniper pole. Yeah, that's a good one there. It's a good one. I was actually a little surprised at how small the ones I've already caught were. Cause I catch actually a bunch of them about this size. This one's slightly bigger than average, probably, but. No, nah, he's about, he's about average. If I could get him. Some of the hardest fish in the world to, to lip. Look at that sucker. It's a good one, big old hybrid. See if I can find them again. They swim so fast. If you get off them, you get off them.
Now this type of fishing, there's a small learning curve to it. Catching bass, doing this, consistently is actually pretty difficult. Whenever there's 500 stripe, if you can hit anywhere close to them where they see it, you gonna catch one, you know? It, it makes it actually unfair for the fish. See if he sees it. Oh yeah, he saw it. Whenever there's only one, it's tough to catch him. A little spotted bass mixed in with them. Oh man, sorry buddy. He was like, come on bro. I need to clean my screen a little bit so y'all can see them a little better. But I think, if I had to guess, I'm going to say y'all seen them pretty good. He chased it, but he didn't just chase it down like you want to see. That dude right there ain't even seen my bait yet. What do we got? Another little spotted bass. Uh oh. Figured them stripes would eat that sucker. Oh man, got him troll mode. He's out though. Fat one, dude. Butter ball. That's it. Simple as that. Alright guys, so you can kind of see the power of that and kind of how it helps you whenever you're just idling and looking. You know, you have to get up and troll back and forth and run your trolling motor batteries dead and all that type of stuff, which I don't have that problem anymore. And I kind of go back and forth if I just want to troll around and look or if I want to idle and find them. But it seems like whenever you're, you get to a new lake and you're not sure where kind of the bait is and the fish are, you can kind of just stop idle for a long period of time and kind of figure out exactly where they are in the stage. So pretty cool piece of equipment, you know. It's got some benefits and then it slows you down at times. But just kind of want to show you all that. That's from Sniper Marine. It's called a sniper pole. That's the best one that I have found. And that's the one that I've used the most is definitely the, the sniper pole. So 
pretty cool. Seen some other pros use it, and I've seen some people actually catch them sitting at the console, throwing to them using that. So that's pretty awesome. But I haven't done that quite yet because every time I see them, I jump up and I go to my front one because I have more options of rods and all that type of stuff. But definitely could sit right here and cast to them and catch them. So pretty interesting. But appreciate you guys watching that. Let me know. Is that unfair to the fish? Does it help a lot? Does it not help a lot? What do y'all think? We'll see y'all.